All right, we're going to create a new contract in this video by uh, copying the rates from another contract, and then we'll also look at how to edit the pricing once we've copied. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Contract Master, which is under the Contract Management menu. I'm going to pull up the customer in this first field. Let's see if there's an existing contract here. I'm going to make a new one by clicking the Add button. I'll give it a name. A start date. An end date. You can specify a customer contact, an internal contact, which will be contract managers. And you can specify a different bill to if you need to. This happens to be the same. You can also specify if it's active, which this one of course is, it's brand new, and is it the default contract for the company. Then I'm going to go to the Copy From tab, which is over here. And I'm going to copy from the same company. I'm going to copy my 2010 pricing contract. So pick that from the list. I'm going to click the Copy button. Click Yes. And it'll notify me that the contract was copied. I can now change different things about the contract. So if I want to change something in pricing for product pricing, I pick the product group. Let's pick the labor. So here's the rates that came in from the 2010 pricing contract. And if I wanted to change one of those, I simply double click it and I can change anything about that record. here. I'm just save that. So of course copying from uh, makes it much easier if you'll copy from a contract that's very similar to the one that you're setting up. And you can just go through just as if you were setting up a brand new blank contract and change different things about it. That's it.